Welcome to Central News for Thursday the 25th of August. I'm Amanda Harper. In today's news, work is still to be done, but most of the internationally recognised bike track in Cambridge is up and running already. The small Waikato town is home to world elite BMX riders, and Cambridge BMX club captain Dave Browning explains why this new track is important for the small town. From a BMX point of view, there's 1,800 riders within the BMX community, North Island and South Island, and Cambridge within one hour has at access to sort of 1,200 of those riders, so it's important that, that we sort of centralise everything. Be sure to head along to the official opening on October the 8th. Lack of funding and adequate research is the main problem the mental health sector in Cambridge faces, according to Waikato University clinical psychology graduate Hannah Cleland, who just completed her thesis on the state of mental health facilities in Cambridge. I've done some other research projects here with the community house um, and found that there are that other service providers thought that there were some gaps um, in, in what was available in Cambridge. So I decided to focus on mental health services from a consumer perspective to find out whether they also thought that um, there were some areas which could be developed. Hannah says overall the quality of care in Cambridge is good, but she found a lack of support structures for those with moderate to severe mental illnesses. The lack of services is that there's always a lack of funding. So, you know, if we, if we had, you know, a huge amount of money, then there could be more publicly funded services. But that's going to be an issue in a huge range of different, different spheres. On Saturday, Fraser High and Hamilton will play host to the first of three Northern League wheelchair basketball tournaments, with teams from the Waikato, Bay of Plenty and Auckland competing to dominate the courts in the lead-up to the national champs in October. The tournament will also provide the opportunity for disabled people in the region to get on the court and have a go at the fast-paced, highly skilled and action-packed games, according to Halberg Trust Sport Opportunity Advisor Dave McCullman, who is hosting the Have A Go Day session. Parablax player Mark Sullivan says wheelchair basketball is a lot of fun to watch and the regional competitions are crucial to prepare the national Parablax team for the Paralympic qualifiers in Korea later this year. Now for our region's weather. Winter took its time to get here, but now it appears it is definitely on its way out. Just under one week shy of spring, the temperature has risen in both regions, with Tauranga sitting on a high of 17 today and Hamilton a high of 16. Tomorrow, Tauranga, it will be long, fine spells again with a high of 16 and low of 6. Hamilton, you have 16 as well and low of 5. Expect morning cloud to clear to fine spells in the afternoon. Janine is with you after the break and tonight's guests feature a voice for life Bay of Plenty chairman, Quinton from the Bay of Plenty Rugby Union and I met a local country music star Kaylee Bell. That's all from me tonight. I will be back here again next Thursday. Stay tuned for more in-depth news. This is Central News and I'm Amanda Harper. Pō marie.